Hey gang, Comic Books NYC is having a contest. He wants us to tell a tale about our comic book experience, or really, he wants to hear about anything. Well, sir, one anecdote I never got to in these videos was about a long box filled to the brim with gold second print Spider-Man number ones. My dealer had this box from the first day I went to his store till about 2002. It was chock full, the books weren't bagged or boarded, it sat in a corner of the basement, and I think the only one who touched them was me, because I would sit and admire this relic of comic days past. Spider-Man 1 was a speculator's milestone that every store over-ordered. It was the first major book to really kick off the number ones as collector's item craze, and it was part of Marvel's trinity of overhyped multi-edition number ones, which also included X-Men number one and X-Force number one, and my dealer had ordered plenty of all the X-Men number ones and all the X-Force number ones, which is why I got them dirt cheap. But he didn't order enough to have a whole long box full linger for years. Even my local crappy comic shop had a short box of Spider-Man ones. The first time I went there, Spider-Man number two was on the shelf, and I asked the lady behind the counter, could she find Spider-Man number one for me? So she turned around and put a short box on the counter. And it wasn't just the second prints, it had the color and it had the silver, but the gold second prints were the cheapest, so that's what I bought. And she very very carefully explained and showed me how to read a book to keep it in high grade. And all I could think was, can I go now? I didn't realize there was going to be a tutorial portion. So anyway, at this other, better store, the long box sat. It actually outlived my local store, because it closed in 1999, and yet the box continued to sit. Well, one Saturday, I'm at the store, and... I'm goofing with my dealer about whatever's on the shelf, and in walks some well-dressed lady who is like, Oh, my son's 10th birthday is this Sunday, and he's a fan of Spider-Man, and I want to make his birthday party Spider-Man themed. And I thought for the kids' gift bags, I could give away a Spider-Man comic book. There's going to be 12 kids, so would you have 12 of the same Spider-Man comic? And my dealer's like hmm, I'm not sure if I have 12 of them, but I can check in the basement. And he gives me a look like, watch the store. And I'm making sure that she's not looking. I give him a look like, cha-ching. So he comes back with a wad of unbagged Spider-Man ones. And he says, I do have enough. And who knows if she thought that the gold metallic ink made it expensive, but she was like, uh... How, how much are they? And he's like, oh, uh, two twenty-five a piece. And she's relieved, and I'm trying to suppress laughter because to get cover price for those at that time was a miracle. People now may think that they're worth twenty-four because that's what they're at on eBay, but back then they were obviously trash. So she bought them, and she was on her way. And I go to congratulate my dealer, but he doesn't look happy. He really is a great businessman, certainly better than ninety percent of the other dealers around here. But he is an open and agreeable person, and he hates ripping people off. He loves giving. stuff. Stuff. I still go to his house, and it's very rare that I leave without an armful of stuff. Last time I was there before Christmas, he gave me two boxes of sealed Christmas lights. He was just like, hey, do you need Christmas lights? And I was like, are they indoor-outdoor? So, and they were, so I took them. But he had just made the sale of a lifetime on these spidey ones, and he couldn't enjoy it. And the next time I went there, which would be like a week later, the long box was gone. He dumped it after all those years. And who knows, maybe some of the eBay scumbags selling gold second print Spider-Man number ones at 24 buck buy it nows. Maybe they dug those out of my dealer's garbage. So thank you to Comic Books NYC. Thank you for this contest. I'll have your link in the description and at the end of the video. And remember, if you want to do this contest, it doesn't have to be about comics. The story can be about anything that you want, which is a bad thing to invite me to do because all I would do is blah, blah, blah about Nutella or TV's Beverly Owens, or, uh, it, well, comics, Nutella, and TV's Beverly Owens. I don't really have anything else to talk about.